cotton breeding is definitely an art and a science. It blends the two. Uh, uh, you have to not have an eye for cotton, and I think uh, an eye for cotton means that you can uh, visually discern differences between plants just by looking at them. I literally grew up in a cotton farm, a small cotton farm in northeast Arkansas, a family-owned cotton farm, and it was in a completely different era, hand-picking cotton, so I had a full dose of hand-picking and uh, just everything involved with the manual aspect of, of cotton production. Uh, hand picking was part of my motivation go, going to get a higher education so I wouldn't have to hand pick cotton. And the kind of irony in my life is I'm still out there hand picking, <laughs> hand picking cotton and bowl samples and individual plants. When I heard that I was being inducted, my, my first inclination was, why me? The pr primary thing that brought focus to me is some recent releases where uh, the, uh, some lines that have a exceptional fiber quality that have broken that, some of that linkage between high yield and low quality. They're, they're competitive yield and have exceptional fiber quality. And I, I like to think as a result of those releases, uh, many of the companies now are also releasing similar type materials and we're seeing a real advance in the last five to 10 years in the combination of fiber quality and high yields. The plant humbles me. In my PhD work, I focused on seed and seedling traits. And over the years, I've gone from there, and I've always been interested in host plant resistance, resistant to insects and diseases. I've worked with plant structure, and most recently with yield components and fiber quality. So in a sense, I've kind of progressed up the plant. Uh, and and uh, my career has kind of grown up with the plant as, as it develops. How well you do in an area, Depends on your native mental abilities, your background, and how hard you work. Well, I, I always consider myself somewhat uh, challenged mentally, but, but I, I did have a great experience in, in agriculture and, and was willing to work, and I started seeing the science of agriculture then. I can still handpick cotton. I, over the years, I've challenged uh, graduate students that are thinking out out hand pick me, I will write their thesis for them. I've had no takers. But.